Coach, it was a valiant effort, but unable to pull out any of the sets versus Creighton, but we stayed close in every one of them. Yeah, I, you know, I knew coming into this match it was going to be a tough one for us because uh, they are, are, you know, they have a lot of upperclassmen. We played them last year. Uh, you know, they're a very strong team. They're a very good blocking team, which we saw, and they don't make a lot of errors. Uh, and so, you know, it, it you know prevented us from ever, ever uh, really taking the lead and, and keeping the lead for too long. I, I thought in that match. Absolutely. Our attacking percentage may, be, may have been a little bit low, may have, our attacking may have been the weak point on the match tonight, coming out at .029. Uh, is that something that, that we're trying to improve this season? Is that something that oh, we've yeah. seen? It's definitely, it's not may, it's for sure. Uh, you know, .29 is, you know, I mean, you know, you, you got to look at it where we, we get 136 attempts and, and we only got 26 kills. So, uh, you know, we've got to find a way to put the ball down. And we got to, we're distributing the ball pretty well as compared to what we were doing last weekend. You know, we're getting more people involved. We're just not getting the ball down. Now, I thought Creighton played great defense against us, and I thought they blocked really well against us. I also didn't think we passed, super, you know, really, you know, really well, especially in games two and three. And I thought all of those factor into our low hitting percentage. Uh, but regardless, we're going to have to be able to find a way to put a ball down. Absolutely. And you mentioned the blocking. If you look at the numbers, it looks like Creighton is a much better blocking team. But our blocks are in place. How do we get them to convert over to, to converting over to points for the Bills? Uh, I tell you, you know, one is that, you know, we got to close blocks. When we talk about it's not just, uh, you know, we got to get hands bigger over the net and be stronger with our, our, our clothes. So what we're looking for is instead of soft blocks, we're looking for, for stuff blocks. And, uh, you know, so we are touching a lot of balls. We're deflecting a lot of balls. Uh, you know, and I think you know it's just really about technique. We got two, you know, young young middles in there, and then some other you know young players up at the net that we just got to do a better job because uh, our opponents' offense are going to take the ball a lot. You know, so they're going to see they're going to see a lot of offense, and uh, we're just going to have to be better at, at getting in front of the ball and, and hopefully block up the point. So um, it, it wouldn't be you know it would be helpful if we get a little taller. Or somebody somebody on the campus come out and stretch out our middle. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, what you mentioned a little bit was about the serving, and if you look, uh, that may, may have been our strong point of the evening, yes. maybe our strong point for the season, looking at Creighton's service errors at 11, and, and us really topping them, service aces 6 versus 3, is that the area that's going to continue to be strong? Is that our strongest point? You know, I hope so. It's, it, it, it certainly wasn't last week, and I tell you what, we, they, we worked hard on it this week, so I'm really proud of our team right now. Um, you know, not only just for serving tough, but uh, but serving you know serving accurately and efficiently. Uh, and yes, they, they helped us a lot. But you know, missing so many serves, especially in that second game, I thought it would have been more of a blowout to be honest with you if uh, they wouldn't have missed so many serves just in that second set. So, uh, no question. You know, we if we, we can't get it done in the front row, we're, we're looking for the opportunity to opportunity to serve from the you know to serve and use that as a weapon. Uh, you know, and we're going to need it. Obviously, we're going we're going to need everything that, that, that we can we, we can capitalize on. Sounds great. We're going to need that tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. versus Wake Forest, and then the evening versus Iowa. Not easy matchup by any means, but we're going to come out with two more wins. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We, we put this one behind us. We learned from it a little bit.